Hi guys, I wanted to show you how my, how my drapes work. I uh, shoot these drapes with these side panels, so in case you are extending your background a little bit more, um, you can use the side panels. So uh, the drapes also have shadows on the bottom, there is just one which doesn't have shadows because it, it was just short drape which you can use with on a window or something so let me just show you something about the shadows i'm just going to this is for medium uh expose like if the if the floor is not too bright or not too dark these shadows are going to work but if they don't work just remove them just switch them off i'm just going to show you let me just uh, put a empty layer on the very bottom and then I'm going to grab my bucket and just going to... That, that's a little bit too bright, but uh, it doesn't matter, I'm going to show. So here is my right drape here. And I'm going to go and let me show you. So if I open these drapes, you're going to see that I'm on the right side now. And I can drop it down. And you can see the shadow is a little bit dark here at the shadow. You can always um, reduce the opacity or duplicate it or even remove it. On dark image, if this is too dark, this if I'll just put um, I'll just put black, okay? Because uh, to show you, oh, that's not visible. Whatever. But you are going to see on too dark, uh, it's going to look lighter you will have to remove it the shadows and um, just switch them off and make your own even if you use the shadows i don't know i was trying to help to help and make it a little bit easier on you sorry about that and let me just show you i'm just going to that is not here um i'm just going to grab you have different choices here this one's um they're kind of busy but sometimes you need busy these ones are without shadows on the ground these are my kitchen drapes not my kitchen but uh, i named it kitchen drapes i did kitchen for fancy with them those are gorgeous brown color and this is my golden drapes which i'm going to use now and i have the green drapes and oops and i have a red velvet very traditional so let me grab the golden drapes and i'm going to grab my move tool making sure i highlight them because it may be visible but something else may be highlighted even oops it, it that can be highlighted so make sure this is highlighted grab your move tool A v is for the move tool and i'm going to grab this and bring it to this image i'm not going to release uh, uh into the title i'm going to release into the image okay now i can adjust them so the shadows don't look that bad yeah, no, no. so i'm going to open this and i'm going to go to the left and i'm going to actually hold my shift uh not to move up and down to move just to the side and i don't think i need the paneling on the side but if you want to you can use the panel to extend your background more then i'm going to look on the right hold my shift not to move up and down to stay on the same line and that looks pretty good um and everything looks good but this drape looks a little bit um too colorful for some reason and uh, have to make them a little bit darker because we want to see the children better than the drapes so what i'm going to do i'm just going to close this folder and i'm going to add an adjustment layer and clip it to the drapes to the folder so let me go and find here oops sorry about that i have to go you know what i'm with I'm with mouse, first time in my life for the last 10 years. And I have no idea where I put these levels. 
looks like I put them here. So I'm going to take them out. I have no idea why they uh, went there. Um, by the way, they should not go there. But I have, that's 2019, okay? So it does whatever they want. So uh, the shortcut for attaching this to the folder is command option J, command option G, sorry. But the other way is to click here and it's going to attach it to the grips. So I'm going to make them darker. All of the sudden they became too colorful. Okay, so I'm going to make them less colorful. I know how to fix it, but I want to show you how you can fix it. I'm going to go to the same place, hue saturation. It should go on the top of the folder, in between the folder and the adjustment layer. Here we go, it went on the right spot this time. And I'm going to reduce the opacity. I'm going to reduce the saturation, sorry. And that looks pretty good. That looks fantastic. There is no need to fix the shadows or anything. That's it. Let me find the traditional, the traditional red velvet. Turn them on, making sure this is um, Highlighted, grab my move tool and move to let's see which one. This one looks fantastic. I'm releasing it into the image, not into the title. Oh, uh, it then looks this is Erin image, and Erin camera is smaller than mine, so um, mine drapes look too big. So, we're going to fix that. Edit free transform. And if you don't see all of the edges, you can go Command-0, zero, Control-0 zero for, for PC, and here we go. That looks good, and I'll agree with it. Let's go closer. Now I'm going to, the shadows on the bottom looks great going to grab the red. Oh, that's the left. Uh, going to grab the re left. I'm going to hold shift up V for my move tool. Holding shift not to move up and down. And holding shift to move the, the other one. Now I just want to show the panels. I mean it covers the tree too much but you know just wanted to show that they are useful. Holding shift not to move them up and down. And here you can, not that that image needs anything, it's gorgeous, but I just, here we go. And if you want to make them darker, even though they are almost the same color, you can, as I show you, I'm, I will close this um, folder and I am going to add when the folder is closed, there is no reason the adjustment layer to go inside of the folder, but it's okay. Uh, levels. And here is the levels on the top. You can do uh, create clipping mask with the right click, which is going to do the same. Make it darker. If you need to, I, don't, I didn't need to, but that's it. Thank you very much.